Hi and welcome to Bowl Baking Basics. This is where we get stuck into the fundamentals of baking. These videos are about getting you to bake with confidence anytime, anywhere. Corn syrup is a really common ingredient in the United States. However, growing up in Ireland, if I saw it in a recipe, I knew I couldn't make it. In this video, I am going to show you how you can make a corn syrup substitute. As always, the recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com along with lots more information about corn syrup, so make sure you check that out. Okay, let's get started in a nice heavy bottom saucepan. Add in your water, sugar, pinch of salt, lemon juice, and lastly, cream of tartar. Okay, so cream of tartar, let me tell you why this is a really important ingredient here. It stops your corn syrup from crystallizing over time. So you want to have that in there for sure. You can buy it really easily online or you can buy it in supermarkets. I strongly suggest you have some in your cupboard because I do use it every so often. And that's it, that's all you need to make a corn syrup substitute. So now what I'm gonna do is turn the heat on to medium and then just wait until your sugar dissolves. So just as I'm stirring it here, I can see that all the sugar is dissolved. This is the perfect time to now let this mix come to a simmer. So turn up the heat if you need to. And now we're gonna let this bubble away for around 15 to 20 minutes until we get a nice thick syrup. So now the reason that this is a corn syrup substitute and not actual corn syrup is because corn syrup is made from corn. This is a substitute, it still works really well. It's just a different method. So now if you don't want to make your own corn syrup, you can buy different substitutes like rice syrup and golden syrup. I've got all that information on my website. So at this stage, just be patient, let it simmer away gently. I'm gonna show you the telltale signs that you're looking for to know that it's ready. So like I said, it'll take around 15 to 20 minutes. You'll notice that it is getting quite syrupy and it reduced down a lot. Let me show you how you can tell that it's done. If you put in a spatula or a wooden spoon and it drops off really slowly and it starts to kind of almost form a line, it's getting thicker and thicker. That's how you know when it's done. Perfect, it's slowly coming off your spatula. That means that when you turn it off the heat and it goes cold, it'll become even thicker. Okay, so it looks like it's ready. I'm gonna turn it off the heat, push it over to the side and just wait for it to cool down. So if you want to be really precise with this recipe, you can put in a candy thermometer and once it reaches 230, it's ready to go. So my corn syrup has cooled down and now all I'm going to do is just pour it into my jar. You can store it in whatever you like. Look, you can see already how thick it's getting. So there you go, corn syrup substitute. Now you'll be happy to know that this guy will live in your cupboard at room temperature for around three months. Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I made this before and it did crystallize on me after a few weeks. So here's what you want to do. Pop it into the microwave, get it nice and hot and those sugar crystals will dissolve and it'll be ready to go again. Just so you know, this yields you around a cup and a third of corn syrup or around 400 grams. Head over to my website for tons of recipes, including ones where you can use my corn syrup in. I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.